Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create this really cool and easy inflatable chrome 3D text type without having to relearn a new 3D software like Cinema 4D or Blender. We're just going to be using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Difficulty super chill and don't worry, I'll guide you through the whole process. So let's get to it. All right, so we're going to grab our reference that we're trying to replicate and drag it into Adobe Illustrator. And because this type is a custom font, there isn't an exact existing font for this. But if you go to websites like the fonts, you'll find a font similar if you type in like balloon or inflatable type. So we're going to trace this particular customized font on the left hand toolbar. We're going to grab the pen tool and we're going to just start outlining around the top of the T. You can see that the T is particularly separate from the top and the bottom. So we're going to first trace on the top and we can make it really rough because we can always go back and select the direct select tool and edit the anchor points. And then we're going to illustrate the bottom T, the U and the D and the other U and M. After we have that done, we're going to click on the direct select tool. It's going to be the arrow that's filled in and this will allow us to click on the anchor points and really fix some of the outlines that we created really quickly to make it more smooth. So in particular, the M, the points are too narrow. So we're, we're going to click on that and just expand it more. So there's a little bit more negative space on there. All right. And after we have that done, we're just going to fill in each letter outline to make it a solid. So right now we have it filled in black. We're just going to use the eyedrop color tool to select the pink color of the tadam. And then after we have that nice pink color, well, this part's really important. What we want to do is make sure that the Adobe Illustrator is updated to the latest version, at least 2023. So then it'll have this new feature called 3D and materials. The older versions like 2021, maybe even 2022 might not be the latest and won't necessarily have this effect. So make sure to save this file and then update it again and then open this file up. So after you have that updated, what we're going to click on is effect. Go to 3D and materials and hover to inflate. Once we press on that, you can see that it already gave you this really cool inflatable text type. And it's going to give you this menu bar called 3D and materials where there's different categories that you can control. There's objects, material and lighting. So we're going to toggle to the lighting section first. And as you can see that there's going to be this white sphere circle with the, the circle blue outline. This is going to be where your light hits and the reference that we have, the light looks like it's hitting from the top left hand corner. So we're going to click on that circle blue and then we're going to drag it slightly to the left area. So the shadow shifts a little bit more to the right hand side and then the light shines more on the left. After this, we're going to start playing with the intensity. You can see that as we bring the intensity up, it really has this bright light, which is nice because the reference that we have also has this really bright and pure light, which makes that balloon inflatable shiny style. So after that, we're going to play with the height and then also the softness as well. You can see that once we lower the softness, that harsh dark shadow becomes almost like a darker pink, which is great. And then we're going to adjust the height. As we make the height higher, the shadows get smaller. But if we lower the height, the shadows become thicker. So definitely play with all of these settings and edit it to how you like it the best. So we're going to make the intensity 150, the rotation around negative 128, the height to 31 degrees and the softness to 100%. So that's looking pretty cool. What we're going to do is toggle to the material panel. And this area is really important of what it makes it look like that slippery inflatable balloon texture. And for the metallic, we're going to drag it all the way to the right just to see how that looks. And as you can see, it's almost too slippery where, where it becomes too metallic and reflective where you can't really see all of the details. So we're going to drag the metallic a little bit more towards the left hand side. We're going to bump up the roughness so then you can actually see the shine reflected on the balloon itself. So definitely play around with these two different styles to get to a style that you like. So right now we have the roughness at 0.44. And then the metallic is at 0.82 and it's looking really nice. I'm just going to go back to the lighting and play with the rotation a little bit more because the top T has a little more shine towards the middle area. So what we're going to do is just drag the rotation around just to see how the light shines more. So then it reflects on the top T area. And right now we've changed it to negative. 62 and that's looking really nice after we have this finished we're going to open up photoshop to have more control over the colors and shading we're going to set the width and height to 2000 by 2000 and the resolution to 150 
we're gonna eye drop that nice green background and then command d which is a shortcut for filling up the space next what we're gonna do is separate the layers so that when we take it to photoshop it's gonna be easy for us to control each of the colors by the layers so we're just gonna open the layer panel and it's just start making new layers and then dragging each letter into its own layer and retitling it so we, right now we're gonna have the top t the bottom t and then the u d u and the m next up we're gonna select all of these letters command c it and paste we're gonna command v it which is a shortcut for paste it's gonna show us this window we're gonna make sure to select layers and then press ok after we have that done it's gonna give you this folder with all of the illustrator layers separated we're gonna click on the bottom t first and as you can see on the reference a lot of the letters have a really thin dark shading around the edges of the letters to make it feel more spherical and dimensional and 3d our current design feels a bit flat because it's missing that so we're gonna make a new layer above the bottom t and then what we're gonna do is hold command and then hover over in between the new layer one and then that bottom t layer and then press the middle and as you can see layer one is directly masking that bottom t layer so what we're gonna do is i drop that darker pink we're gonna start slowly painting in the edge of that t and as you can see already it's giving a more dimensional feeling similar to the reference that we have we're gonna paint under that bottom t too so it feels like that top t is casting a shadow behind it so it gives it that more front back dimension to it and already that's feeling really cool after we have the t feeling good i feel like we could make the overall letters much brighter and what's nice about it being grouped is we could apply adjustment layer and it'll affect all of the letters so we don't have to individually ump the colors and brightness for them so what we're gonna do is click on the group one we're gonna hover over to layers new adjustment layer and then hit brightness and contrast after we do this it's going to give us a control panel we're going to bump up the brightness to 29 and then the contrast to 19 and already it's looking pretty close to the reference what we're going to do is go back and apply all of that thin shading around the other letters as well we're going to do the same thing for the top t we're going to add a new layer make sure that it's masked onto that top t and then start painting that top t's thin layer above it so it feels more dimensional so we're gonna do the d and then the m the last one is the u and then after we have them all shade it's looking nice what we're gonna do is start playing with the level so we can bring some highlights up lower some of the shading as well so again we're gonna click on the group one hover over to layers and then click levels once we have this it's gonna give us this level bar and then we're gonna start dragging our cursor and move some sliders around so you can see that it's really changing the contrast of the overall design so as we drag it to the left it brightens up everything even the shadows to make it feel less contrast and more even toned as well which looks really nice and I'm going to turn off the layers for the levels and brightness so you can see how much of a difference these two effects make. And that's it guys. This was the 3D inflatable chrome text effect that we just did on Adobe Illustrator without having to use a 3D software program. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.